We've been in quarantine for five weeks, maybe six. How have things been going? Pretty good, considering. I started working from home um, about a month ago, and it was actually pretty nice to just be able to roll out of bed. Let's do this, I guess. No! <laughs> uh, hi, good morning. Are you okay? You're looking a little, um, tired. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just got up a little late this morning. Well, I just want to make sure that you're good during these times, but um, I wanted to have a quick Zoom meeting and bring in Tammy and Karen C and Karen B. Oh, um, uh, all, all three of them? Uh, Karen and Karen don't even work in this department. I think that they have a lot of valuable information that they could probably add. Oh, okay. I guess the more the merrier. Sure. Okay, let me try to get this in. Um, let me conference them in. Karen? Karen? Karen C? Do you know which corner they're supposed to be popping in? I'm not, I'm not seeing uh, I, I, I think somewhere on the top up there. Karen? Karen? Da Karen? Hmm. I can't get this thing to work. Um, let me just go ahead and loop everyone into a group email and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, okay. Okay, sure. Okay. I'll send you an email in about 30 seconds or so. So just go ahead and respond and let me know you got that email. Oh, okay. Will do. Nice talking right. to you. It's been a weird time for sure. Um, I was working from home remotely, but then I ended up getting furloughed. And then I did too. <laughs> um, but, you know, now we're just trying to figure out things in our self-quarantine life. I don't know that we've ever spent this much uninterrupted time together in our whole relationship. No, but we've gotten along pretty well and we found the time to get back to activities that we enjoy that we just haven't spent a lot of time doing. Like, I started baking again. I love baking. I also started sewing again, which is something that I haven't done in a really long time. The pedal just like doesn't work. I can't get it to work. It's plugged in, like the light works, but like the power is not going to the pedal. I decided that I would make Jeremy and I some face masks. We have these black uh, t-shirts that we haven't ever worn that I'm going to try to make masks out of, um, but I can't seem to find my fabric scissors. I swear I could have put them in here. Hey Jeremy, do you know where my fabric scissors are? These are regular scissors, but... My fabric scissors. I don't know. I just need to trim my beard. 
You are not supposed to cut anything but fabric with fabric scissors. Haven't you seen like the million memes on the internet? Okay. What the actual? A Sharpie? Sure, okay. And Jeremy, have you made time for any other projects or things you haven't previously had the time for? Oh, well, I've been doing some online learning. Uh, things in city planning, agriculture, design, and fashion. He's talking about Animal Crossing. He's been playing Animal Crossing. We've also been doing weekly video calls with friends and family that don't live near us, so we probably wouldn't get to see them a lot anyway. So it's been nice to catch up with people. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. That was very selfish of me. Hi, Sean. Hi, Jordan. Hey, how's it going? Oh, no. There goes my coveted whatever place I was in. <laughs> I was in first, now I'm in 10th. Oh, Sean just passed Yeah, I me. was in like third, I think. It's been a weird and difficult time. I mean, it's it's nice to connect with people that are going through similar things because, I mean, they know how you feel. I don't want them to feel stir crazy either. Um, it's just been nice connecting with our friends mm -hmm. that are going through similar things. <laughs> 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 I assure you we fight this all the time. I can relate to this because I did a dance when we finally found toilet paper. Oh my god, guess what? The store had toilet paper! The store had toilet paper! We got some toilet paper! Come here! Hi, Stink, what you doing? <laughs> what about your dog? How has she handled being in quarantine? Um, well, I think on the one hand, she is excited that we are home with her all the time and giving her attention. On the other hand, I think she's also annoyed with us that we're home all the time giving her attention. You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. You bring meaning to my life. You're the inspiration. I want to have you near me. I want to have you hear me say All I need is a What has been the weirdest part of this quarantine for you? I think just going outside and seeing the outside world and how different it is, is weird. Just like driving around in my car. Yeah, I went out for the first time in a couple of weeks, like last week, and it was weird. Yeah, uh, just driving, we drove through Disney World and it was just abandoned and weird and it was weird. That was weird. Have you learned anything through all of this? It has 
definitely given me new perspective on life. I mean, on the one hand, I am realizing maybe I don't need to get around to those lost projects that I've been meaning to get around to and haven't for so many years. It's definitely made me appreciate the people in our lives more and the fact that there's not really any reason that we can't be having phone calls or like video chats with the people that we care about. Yeah, I agree. And also I feel like a lot of people are hating on all the video calls, but I love it. I'm enjoying all the video calls we've been having. If there's one lesson that I've learned from all of this, it's just to appreciate life more. You know, going on hikes, spending time with friends, taking our dog to the beach. Like these are things that we took for granted that I will not take for granted anymore. I mean, I think given our current situation, like, we don't know how long this is going to last. We don't know how long and how much our lives are going to be affected in the future going forward. So all we can do is limit our contact with the outside world as much as we can and make the most of the situation going forward. We love you all. We hope that you have stayed safe and healthy and that your loved ones are also safe and healthy we have to also acknowledge all of the people who are putting their own lives at risk by being in contact on a regular basis. Um, you know, people working at grocery stores, in healthcare, just anybody that is putting themselves out there to help others. Thank you. Yeah, we got some friends and family and all that kind of stuff. So thanks to everyone. <laughs>